Hi, I'm Sarah Baya and welcome to my science class. It's another fun and interesting lesson this week. In today's lesson, we will be describing light and sound energy. And at the end of our lesson, you are expected to describe how light and sound travels to different materials. Before we proceed with our main topic, let us review our past lesson about heat energy. I'm going to show you some descriptions and you're going to guess whether the following is conduction, convection, or radiation. So if you're ready, let's get started. If you answer them all correctly, congratulations! As a safety reminder, always be careful in handling materials. Perform the activities carefully so you will not harm yourself. Always perform the activity in the presence of an adult. Light is important because it makes us see objects around us. A soft sound is music to one's ear, while a loud sound is unpleasant and unwanted. These two forms of energy helps us to see and hear objects around us. So for today's lesson, let's get to investigate how light and sound travels to different materials. Go into the darkened room. Close the door and look around you. Can you see anything? Why? Now try to open the door and a light light to come in. How does light travel? For our first activity, we will be demonstrating how light travels using pieces of cardboard, a flashlight, and a black background. Now watch this video. Light energy is a form of electromagnetic radiation. Light consists of photons, which are produced when an object's atoms heat up. Light travels in waves and is the only form of energy visible to the human eye. Earlier in our experiment, you saw that light on the black background travels in a straight line as it passed through the tiny holes in the cardboard. Try to observe sunlight as it comes through your window, or the shadows of buildings, or poles as you walk to school. The shadow of the building and the poles has the same shape. That only proves that light travels in a straight line. Can you see yourself in a mirror? But why can't we see ourselves on paper? For our next activity, we are going to demonstrate how light passes through different objects. We will be needing the following materials. A clear glass, plastic, and paper cups. Now watch this video.
Objects vary in how they transmit light. Transparent objects allow light to travel through them. Materials like air, water, and clear glass are called transparent. When light encounters transparent materials, almost all of it passes directly through them. Glass, for example, is transparent to all visible light. Translucent objects allow some light to travel through them. Materials like frosted glass and some plastics are called translucent. When light strikes translucent materials, only some of the light passes through them. The light does not pass directly through the materials. It changes direction many times and is scattered as it passes through. Therefore, we cannot see clearly through them and objects on the other side of a translucent object appears fuzzy and unclear. Opaque objects block light from traveling through them. Most of the light is either reflected by the object or absorbed and converted to thermal energy. Materials such as wood, stone, and metals are opaque to visible light. Get a guitar and move your fingers across the string. What is produced? For our next activity, we are going to demonstrate how sound is produced. We are going to use a ruler and now watch this video. Sound is a form of energy that causes molecules of a medium to vibrate back and forth. Vibration is the back and forth, up or down, motion of an object. For our last activity, we will be demonstrating how sound travels through a medium. The following materials are needed. Now watch this video. Sound travels in waves. Sound waves need to travel through a medium such as solid, liquid, and gases. The sound waves move through each of these mediums by vibrating the molecules in the matter. Of the three mediums, sound travels faster in solids and slowest through gas. Let's have some challenge! Our challenge for today is answering questions about light and sound. Make sure to guess the correct letter of the best answer. 
So if you're ready to test your wits, let's start our game! If you answer them all correctly, congratulations! Today, we have learned that light and sound can travel through different materials. So that's it for our lesson today. Don't forget to read more about our lesson in your textbook and module, and answer the activities in your worksheets. So once again, I'm your teacher, Sir Abaya. Thanks for listening, and see you next time! For today, see you next time!